Welcome everybody to our faction showcase. Well, actually I should say faction old home showcase. This used to be our faction lobby of our faction base. And uh, we were number one for a time, number two, and now we're number three. We lost this base due to unfortunate uh, overclaiming. And uh, well, we're rebuilding a new base now, but I still wanted to showcase this one. Because it was a excellent base in the end. We had loads of stuff. So do check out this video. Stay till the end. Watch the whole and uh, be amazed of what we had. And the next one is going to be even bigger. So I just put on my banner. And we're going to have a look see. I think I will go first to. Well let's go to the farm area. Because we have some automated farms. We, uh, we did have a lot of obby and, uh, and doors. We got the silos right here. Each light indicates that uh, there's something in the chest. You put it up there and uh, this is the AFK spot for our melons and our pumpkins. It's uh, automated by a butt switch which then uh, causes the melons or pumpkins to fall into the hopper and then go into the chest. It's an easy, uh, well, easy automated farm with a nice AFK spot. It doesn't generate huge results but it generates enough. As you can see, it doesn't always work, but it works like 90% of the time, which is, in my opinion, good enough for an automated farm. And uh, yeah, you can see the pistons right there. Then this is this is really cool, guys. This is our automated farm. I got it from a tutorial somewhere on the internet. I can't really remember where, but yeah, that was where the excess bone meal went. And I'm gonna get minecart right now and uh, some seeds so I can show you guys how this works. It's pretty damn simple because we just put down the minecart right here. Then you go into F5 mode for show and tell purposes. Then you go to the powered cart and it will bust you right, left and right. And uh, each time you, well, go on to the tripwire, it will reset the sand. And it will stay uh, a farm area like that. And you can just put in your corn and your seeds and get that luscious corn and uh, make some bread with it. It also works with carrots, with potatoes, it, it works with everything. So the top dispensers, they just dispense the bone meal on top of the uh, the wheat and it makes it grow. As easy as that. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. So let's get out of this one. It, it's, it yields huge amounts of wheat to, the, to be honest. We don't ever need any food with this anymore. So we're just gonna put away the minecart. I'm going to stack that into the chest again because, you know, a good faction does need to be organized. And uh, our new faction isn't organized at all. But hey, what do you want, right? What can you expect? So let's close these doors up because that's always important. Because if you're going to get raided, that's what's going to save you from being raided totally. And let's go to our old vault. That was our old F home, to be honest. And um, we're trying to redesign it into a, uh, a vault, which is now, of course, obsolete because there is nothing in it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this, this used to be our old vault or was going to become our old vault. I'm going to close this door again. Here we go. And the second one. Come on. Yep. There we go. And let's see. Let's see. Let's go to the blacksmith area. This is one of my favorite areas in the whole faction. And um, I don't know why, it's just the look of it. And uh, it's awesome. This is our silos again. Each light indicates a full double chest. And it's got the hoppers up there to, uh, well, insert the uh, the ores or the materials. And here's the collection point of our synchronized furnace. I think this was the one from Tango Tech. You put in your ores there and you put in your coal there. And then it automatically divides it on top of 15 of those furnaces and smelts it all like really, really fast. And I'll show you the redstone as well. Here you go. That's uh, a lot of redstone. A little bit dark. I'm going to put up a torch right here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an awesome, awesome system. I'm so going to rebuild this again because it just feeds it in and feeds it out all automatically. Nothing you have to do about it. And it's it's super fast, guys. It even has a, a manual or automatic collection point, which uh, you can switch on and off. So you can also get the XP from the furnace, which is, of course, excellent. Let me tell you that. That's excellent. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the blacksmith area. Let's close up this door, go back to the lobby, to our pixel art uh, member faces. <laughs> yeah, well, how do I call it otherwise right and off to the project room yep 
Here we go. Somebody did not close those doors, but this is our project room. It's a little pet peeve of mine where we have all these chests here on the pistons and uh, we've got those wooden pillars here on which you can state your project. So if you have, are a member of Lobidos and you want to have a project like uh, I need uh, 20,000 pieces of obsidian, then you can just put it on the wall and if there's any gatherer member on, he will or she will have a look at the project and say, hey, I got some spare time, I can collect that obsidian for you, put it in the chest, sign it off with a sign that it's uh, collect, uh, currently holding like 10,000 obsidian and there we go, we helped each other. So back to the lobby, because the lobby is the main central point, you always go back to the lobby. And uh, now we go into the tall room, where the tall room is, is like a, a department building, <laughs> it's huge. We got the, the main area, that's the, well the alchemy workshop. With some hoppers underneath the water, just toss them right in, get collected in the chest and put them in the brewing stands. We got the ingredients on the other side, easy as that, can't get any easier than this guys. It's uh, also a good way to train your alchemy, because we haven't automated this. Uh, because I want to train the alchemy. And here we got a little squid spawner right in there, so we got ink sacks plenty. We got the pyramid of potions behind us. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we got loads of ink sack. Nothing to do with that, but yeah, <laughs> we got them. Hey, we at least have to have them. Here we are uh, rebuilding our potions again. And uh, as you can see, we got different times, different items uh, stacked into the pyramid. And uh, it holds every potion that you can imagine. And here's the armory, which is a big part of, uh, of our base. We got loads of high-end armors. We got um, saddles and uh, a diamond barding. We got some huge godlike weapons here. We got some gold apples here as well, super golden apples. So whenever any of our members loses anything, he can just go here and re-equip himself. And uh, ooh, yeah, that's the kind of buggy squiddy. But hey, they'll die eventually. Give us those insects. And this is the library. We can enchant anything you like. We got. Uh, a library storing system as well over there you know where you have uh, different levels for everything this used to be a cow farm but we have a better one now somewhere else so we don't really need that platform anymore we were thinking about what we're gonna do with it but we're gonna leave it like that because our base got raided unfortunately but hey that happens sometimes nothing to do about it and uh, let's go back to the lobby to show you the other parts of it oh yeah the bows we also got some bows in here some bows 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 we got some more bows as well, but hey, that was a mixed assortment of bows. All the way back to the lobby. That's the only disappointment about this base. You know, moving around, you have to go all the way back and forth. A nice decorated Wither Skull wall there. Some uh, pixel arted uh, Lobido he heads, some Lobido faces. And let's go to, yeah, there's a rule section. Let's go to the project room. No, no, not the project room, the member room. This is the member room where you have the heads of the members and staff on the wall. It's going to be expanded. Some books about what each member is good at, what they're talented at. And uh, this is one of our new rooms, which is, well, currently only holding the, oh my God, you darn Enderman. Go away, Enderman. I really hate Enderman, but uh, the base is in the end. So yeah, what would you expect, right? We have slapped the whole base, but still... Man, the Endermen come in whenever we make a new portion of base. So I must have forgotten a slab somewhere. But this is the blaze spawner. We uh, tried to do a little bit of pixel art. I'm not that good at it, but hey, it you know you can figure out it's a blaze, right? And we got uh, like 14 blazes in that, and uh, it's working perfectly, man. You just AFK there five minutes, and you're full for enchantment. Another Enderman, come here, come here. Let me get him. Let me get him. There he is. And this is our tree, uh, well, automated tree farm. You just get a sapling. Let me just switch one. Do I want? Do I want the oak? Yeah, let's just get one oak and to our hot bar and get some bone meal for when they run out. I don't think it will run out, but hey, you can never be too sure, right? And the way it works is just put down the sapling and it will get sprayed by the bone meal and then it will go ploof. Ploof? Yeah, there it goes. There's a, there's a tree. Oh, we got a free sapling. Let's put it down again and show you what happens. Will it go again? Wow, this takes a long time this time. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, and another sapling. Oh, that's the added bonus. Normally you don't get that many saplings. As you could see, there was enough bone meal in there. 
because we also had a skeleton grinder which caused us to get a lot of bone meal and what you do next is just chop down the wood get out your axe and chop down the wood that's that's all there is to it and if you need any more saplings you just wait here for the the leaves to wither and then you know you got some saplings as well that's as easy as it gets simple but switch but it works miracles you put down put back yeah let's just toss all that stuff in here i don't need it anyway another enderman come on come on hey oh where did you go okay he just disappeared on with the tour all right so we had that the new room so let's go to our huge item sorter it's a storage and a sorter which is absolutely freaking amazing just look at that and it's two stories high you guys it's two stories high and this is the elevator which we will have to uh, redo because it didn't work and the idea is just put in your items into a chest it will automatically sort into all these different chests and uh, yeah it's it's just awesome man it's make it, it makes it all so much easier then we go up to trinkets redstone office as you can see right here trinket is one of our, of our most trusted members uh, he did leave the faction now because he was kind of bored because well we had everything and uh, he had made his little own uh, office here and here you have a top side view but here we go into his office and he made this so that you can do any request redstone wise so you press the button you get a book you type in whatever you need redstone wise and you put the book well I'm putting it back here now for this time but uh, normally you put it back here to the left put it in right in there and uh, yeah I'm the owner so I'll go in and it will come down through these hoppers into the chest right about wait where right, oh, oh yeah right here and oh somebody made it let's see oh I need a hot dog wow yeah that's not really redstone guys but yeah that's kind of how it works and he receives the book and he gets right on it <coughs> so that's more or less our current base which was raided unfortunately and um, um, yeah I don't have any pictures of that but we got raided so we're building a new base and uh, I just wanted to make this video to showcase you guys uh, what we had made so what was the number one faction base uh, currently number two and I'll show the outside about yeah about right now so can I go outside here we go yeah here we are we are on the outside now so as you can see we are in the end and this is at the lobby level I'll go up the several levels but this is the the main level so where we're just standing that's this room you can see it's all divided in different rooms smaller rooms all in case I don't know what this one was it was secret stash or something slapped up and uh yeah all nice and square nothing special about it a lot of spaces in between so if anybody wants to use like a sand cannon or anything yeah forget it and those are all half slab walls as well so encased in stone encased in water is half slabs around it because fences lagged up the server too much unfortunately but this is our base guys this is what the base was like so i would like to thank you all a lot for watching of course and if you want to play just look at the top left screen to uh, to get the server address type it into direct connect and come play with us guys thanks a lot for watching do subscribe do leave a comment and see you next time